Introduction Anuj and his mother are in a toy shop buying toys for Anuj's one year old brother. Anuj finds himself surrounded by brightly colored toys of all sizes and shapes. Some toys are circular while others are rectangular. Some toys are square shaped and some others are oval. He finds the world of shapes fascinating. He is keen to know more about shapes. The study of shapes is known as geometry. In this lesson, we will look at shapes in detail. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Define line, line segment and ray. Measure a line segment. Draw a circle. Define the term reflection. Distinguish among the terms light, flip and turn. And differentiate among plan, elevation and side views of objects. Line, line segment and ray. A line is a group of points on a straight path. Plot two points. Join them. The result is a straight line. A line has no end points. It can be extended infinitely from both sides. A line segment is a part of a line. It has two end points. It has a fixed length and cannot be extended. A ray is also a part of a line like a line segment. However, it has only one end point. So, it can be extended infinitely in one direction. The most common example of rays are the rays of the sun. Measuring Line Segment Let us measure a line segment with the help of a centimeter scale. Draw a line segment with its end points as P and Q. Place the zero end of the scale exactly below point P. C. Where point Q lies on the scale? Q lies on number 6. Between the numbers 0 and 6, there are 6 centimeters. It means the length of the line segment PQ is 6 centimeters. Circles There are many objects here. A bangle, a wheel, a frisbee, a biscuit and a pizza. They all have one thing in common and that is their shape. All of them are circular in shape. Each one of these objects is a circle. Making a circle Let us learn to draw a circle with the help of a thread. Take a piece of thread. Paste one end of the thread on your notebook. Hold the thread by the other end and move it around the fixed end. A circle is formed. The fixed end of the thread is the center of the circle. The length of the thread from the center to the boundary of the circle is the radius of the circle. Tiling or tessellating shapes Rajni is on her way to the pharmacy. She notices tiles of irregular shapes on the pavement. She observes that the tiles have been fitted together without any gaps between them. Moreover, the tiles do not overlap. The tiles form a tessellation. A tessellation is a two-dimensional figure created through the repeated use of a geometric shape in such a way that there are no gaps or overlaps. Nets making of cube and cuboids A net of a 3D shape is an arrangement which when folded along the common edges forms the 3D object. Here are some nets. Reflection When you position yourself in front of a mirror, what you see in the mirror is your reflection. You are the object and the reflection is the image. Here are some interesting facts about reflections. The distance between the object and the mirror is the same as the distance between the mirror and the image. The sizes and shapes of the object and the image are match exactly. Slide, flip 
and turn. You must have come across the word slide, flip and turn many a time in your life. Let us see what they mean in mathematics. Moving an object smoothly along a surface without disturbing its shape and size is sliding. We observe sliding in real life. While playing the carom, we move the carom coins by hitting them by striker. Children enjoy themselves at the slides. Creating a mirror image of an object is flipping. In real life, we come across many instances of flipping. For example, our right hand is a mirror image of our left hand. So, if we flip our left hand, we get our right hand. Similarly, the right foot slipper is a mirror image of the left foot slipper. Flipping or sliding does not alter the shape of the object. Rotating a plane figure around a fixed point is turning. A real life example of turning is the windmill. Plan, elevation and side view. The view of an object from the top is called the plan view. The view of an object from the front is called elevation. The view of an object from the side is called the side view of. Look at this Almira. This is the plan view of the Almira. This is the elevation view. And this is the side view of the Almira. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. A line is a group of points on a straight path. It has no end points. A line segment is a part of a line. It has two end points. A ray is also a part of a line. It has only one end point. A tessellation is a 2D figure created through the repeated use of a geometric shape without any gaps or overlaps. A net of a 3D shape is an arrangement which when folded along the common edges forms the 3D object. Moving an object smoothly along a surface without disturbing its shape and size is sliding. Creating a mirror image of an object is flipping. Rotating a plane figure around a fixed point is turning. The view of an object from the top is called the plan view. Front is called elevation. Sides is called the side view.